I need to pay attention to my lens better. All right, you guys, we are gearing up to move out after six, seven years living in this RV. I'm moving my stuff out of here. It's going to be weird. Since day one, I've been putting things into this RV. I'm very rarely taking it out. Um, it's time. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, we got to do something. Either fix the RV or get rid of it. So we're going to clear it out. And then that'll give me the room to rip up carpet, fix the walls, or drive it on out of here. One last drive. God, that is a depressing thought. Moving in to a greenhouse. But they actually refer to this as the sunroom. It gets a lot of sun. It gets really hot in the summer. Been given a few months to tear into the RV and figure out if she can be fixed. We'll see. We'll see. Got to get into it a little bit first. So yeah, got some cleanup here to do. Clean up my mess. I'm helping them clean up some of theirs no garbage service out here so we burn the paper and make trips into town for this stuff so we're gonna be uh, here's all my recycling which is good keeping that out of the fire and getting it to where it needs to go so yeah I'll get a temporary stay get away from the black mold help them clean this up a little bit boy we got some cobwebs got some uh, recycling a few gardening items stored in here. Not too much stuff. Mostly my uh, my doing. Store the things in here. I guess we'll bring in the bed and uh, set it up on... Let's see if we can find enough of these milk crates or something. Oh, it's... Yeah, kind of weird. It feels weird. Wow. Been in patches for so long. Look at that moon. Well, aren't those pretty? I kind of knew these were here, but I haven't really took a moment to check them out. That's the, that's something I've kind of pictured myself doing in my older years. Got a vent fan. Probably gonna need to do some sweeping and Maybe a little pressure washing. Got my work cut out for me, that's for sure. But, oh, that's this is great. I'm really thankful for it. Saving these. I need to find the last one for my fancy lighting just in case the RV goes bye bye. I'm gonna put these back in their boxes and save them. Uh, I need to find the other box though. Some car parts. Parts and patches actually. Looks like some of your emission system stuff. The old boob tube, that's good. I forgot I even left that in there. It's awesome, actually. I can set my games. I actually kind of liked that tortilla shell the other day. Ended up eating half of it. The cheesy part, anyway. Tortilla man was right. We should heat these tortilla shells. But my pan is all dirty, so I'll torch them. 
veggie burrito. I've got little, uh, I got uh, cut in half, some grape tomatoes, coleslaw, broccoli, carrots, shredded cheddar cheese, and ranch. Should be pretty good. Okay, working on this mess again. Just quite the job. I just, there's a lot of stuff in there. Brought a little battery charger up here to Jimmy. Need one of these trucks to help me haul some stuff. And I think it's about time to get these old trucks up and running. I opened this up and a mouse was standing right there. I grabbed it and I stomped it. No ice in my trucks. Make a nest again over here. All oh, right, we need to get the, uh, I borrowed that battery for the boat. So, I'm gonna freshen these batteries up. Get Jimmy going, let's get Rusty going. If I haven't mentioned yet, the titles have been retrieved. They are looking good, and the owner is saying, hurry up, I want these trucks off my property. So let's get this figured out. Try and keep an eye out for more mice. I gotta wash my hands. I grabbed that thing with my my bare hand. I lifted up the hood and it was just sitting right there. Took one turn like it was gonna run back into the truck and I just grabbed it. Did what I had to do. Actually, let's go ahead. Put this over here. I got like an owl or hawk or something that likes to eat these. Always put the mice out of the traps up here. And they disappear. Oh, I forgot the keys. I was going to do a mouse check in Jimmy here. Or, uh, Rusty. Should still have a trap in there. Like maybe Rusty is still good. Oh. I'm sure uh, this battery is still connected. That's long dead. Oh yeah. Hopefully that is not connected. Oh good, it's not connected. I was gonna say, that battery is completely done. Just like that tire. Okay, let's get this battery back up here, get them both on the charger. And Jimmy's battery was charged last, so let's, let's give Rusty the charger. Okay, let's get Rusty charged, then we'll get Jimmy charged. This makes me happy to see the trucks all opened up, getting freshed up. I was kind of losing all hope for these. It was taking so long for the title thing to happen, but it finally did. Tiles are here, looking good. He wants them off the property. I'll be happy to oblige once I figure that out. Are they looking in here? 
Pretty good still, I hope. Jimmy needs to get out of the rain. That's really got me leaning toward getting an RV storage spot. I don't know where else to put them. Need tires. Get Jimmy down, or uh, yeah, Jimmy back down here so I can put his weird spare tire thing back on. And the spare tire. Actually, I should put that spare tire on that. Replace it with the bad one. Some used motor oil. I do collect this because one day I will have a used oil burner for heat. In a shop or something if I ever get one. Uh, let's see here. Got some antifreeze. This is kind of old, but it's from Patches. It's not... That's pretty dirty. Jimmy needs a little coolant. Here though, you can see it. Didn't look like there's anything in there. Oh boy, there's so many chunks. Oh yeah, Jimmy needs a little bit of work ASAP. Um, yeah, maybe we'll be working on Jimmy here soon. He could use it. Let's uh, well. Get the RV figured out first. I think. Battery died. Uh, yeah, I keep. I'm thinking about putting it on eBay and hope to find somebody that uh, got a covered area or is willing to put the time and effort into a you know a restore on this. She's got some life left in her, you know. I think she's good for the chassis. You know, somebody who's got the time and. The means to do a repair on this old RV or do something with her versus just taking to a junkyard that would be really really awesome so I might try putting her on eBay but it goes on eBay I am still I, I have to keep my solar panels I have to keep this stuff I don't have any other way to make my power you know I got the generator but I also need to take what little solar in that I can don't always have gasoline and this is this setup is enough to keep a fridge going as long as I don't put anything else on it. Um, I'll find the extra power, or while the fridge is off, we can run the PC as well and get the work done. If it goes to the junkyard, I'm going to strip it pretty good. I want the speakers back. Um, I kind of need to get in there anyway, grabbing. Oh boy, what a you know and. Yeah, okay, so if it goes on eBay, I gotta take all my power stuff, my tool, you know, everything's gonna pretty much come with me. Um, you know, microwave, I need all my appliances. I'll leave the diesel heater. I'll leave the awesome lighting. Those two. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need some lights in here. I really love these lights though. I might, uh... No promises, no promises. But I'll probably leave those lights. Um, you know, uh, beware of your health, of course. Wear a respirator before you come in here. Before you get all that work done. So I, uh... You know, if I were to sell this right now, it'd be very cheap. So we'll try and start low. And uh, anything that goes... Anything that comes from this will go back into the channel, into the new, into the Patches Mark II. Got the uh, Cam 2 up there. It's my uh, project cam. Got the protective silicone on it. Using the Brett Miller cam right now. Got me into this Hero 7 stuff, so I bought another one. They actually do pretty good and have never failed on me as far as ruining footage. God, that Hero Session 4 was so bad. 
could get uh every time i made a video i had to deal with files that had no audio or it was just a black video or corrupt completely didn't do anything drove me nuts these do pretty good can't thank you enough brett so that's all ready to go we're going to do a time lapse of clearing all the stuff out and gonna go to my transition area A lot of work going on over there, as you can see. Oh, we're getting the trucks though, at least. If we have patches, goes away. Yeah, I only got three. Actually, that's if I don't work on patches, a few months. That's not too bad time to figure everything out. But, uh, no promises on on anything yet. I'm, I know I, I changed my mind a lot. I'm scatterbrain, ADHD help it but you're I, I know you are I know I know you guys are right this patches is uh, a lot of work I need the doors the doors no good I was kind of looking forward to doing that though I had the steel door all designed out and everything Measured it, designed it, drew it, want to make it. It's going to be, a, I think, a one inch frame to kind of frame it out. You have this little gap on top, which I could just fill in with whatever steel, obviously. Just make a little plate or something, insulate it. Um, but basically, yeah, one inch frame on the outside and then like a, or no, a one in quarter inch something a little bigger on the outside for an outside uh frame you know, sturdy everything up square it off and put like a strip of steel at the bottom to tie in the bottom the two pieces on the bottom there the two bottom parts of the frame so uh yeah half uh, one and a half inch square tube on the outside and then uh, just a one inch to save a little on a little on weight Help with uh, a little bit on clearance. I don't really know how to make a door, so I'm, I know how to install a door. I know enough about doors that uh, you need a little bit of clearance, so the edges are gonna smack into each other as it's pivoting. So yeah, just a smaller frame, one inch, and then make it out of steel plate, some thin steel plate. Uh, I don't have it drawn on there, but some some cross members, uh, a bunch of little few little pieces to help uh, firm it up, make it more rigid, uh, what it was called, uh, gussets, is that what that's called, gusset, something at the corners, make it sturdy, oh boy, but, um, I had like a warehouse, oh boy, it's weird, it's weird, moving into something else, somewhere else, that's not an RV. Uh, one more thing to put in about that eBay. You guys are over here charging. Uh, gonna have to come for pickup. Come get the RV in Washington State. Or send a semi. Or truck to pick it up or whatever. Or a guy. Send a guy to pick it up. 